hi guys and welcome back to my channel today i am doing an update on my hair journey oh my god girl i'm living for this girl definition <laughs> So we're gonna talk a little bit and then after um, I talk and kind of run you through my little hair care routine that I am starting, um, I will put a nice little slideshow for you at the ending. Okay, so stay tuned for that. So let's go through what I normally do with my hair. I wash my hair with the Aussie Mega Moist shampoo as well as the conditioner i have two of these one is shampoo one is conditioner and it claims quenches thirst locks in a flash hydration so you know with curls we need that hydration girl so that's what i've been using i wash my hair once with that shampoo and then i go in with the verso hair shampoo ladies and as always any products i mention in my videos i always link them in the description for you um, I try my best to, I may forget here and there, but I try my best to licks, 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 <laughs> but, but, what you say, <laughs> but you say, <laughs> I try my best to link any products I discuss in the description, just so it's easy access for you, so, you know, if you're like, oh my god, I like that, or I want to try that, you know where to find it, or if you just want to research and read up on it, you know, again, I bought all these products with my own money whenever I have a sponsor video you girls are going to know it's sponsored say sponsored bitch <laughs> imagine I can't but whatever guys for those of you who haven't heard of the Verso shampoo this is a um, hair growth shampoo it makes your hair grow and I did use this last year and it did work wonders for my hair my hair did grow rather fast at a fast pace so if you're somebody who's looking to grow your hair faster, you may want to look into this. You're supposed to put it on every other day. I put it on once a week. Um, well, every three to four days to once a week. I don't really stay on a tight schedule with it. But I do use it, especially now that my hair is really short. I'm trying to retain length back. I just want the length to be healthy length and not, you know, damaged length. Because that's not what that's not what I'm going for, okay? Um, I am trying to stop using gel altogether. If I do use gel, it will only be on my baby hairs just to keep the flyaways. I am currently using the Curls Unleash. And if you don't know about this girl, you better ask somebody. I was using the moisturizer, but for some reason, I felt like the moisturizer was just drying out my hair. Um, whenever I didn't have the moisturizer in, my hair was very dry and like hard. So I don't know if that was from the moisturizer, so I kind of stopped using it. Um, when it was in my hair though, my hair felt amazing, but I I just, I guess I'm testing the waters to see what works, what doesn't work. So I'm trying to replace something with gel right now. As far as conditioner, I fill this bottle with water and I put two pumps of the Aussie hair conditioner in there and I dilute it with the water and this is what I use to spray my hair to hydrate. Then I lock in the moisture in my hair with extra virgin coconut oil after that then i am currently using the curls unloose unloose <laughs> what the fuck the curls unleash um boosting jelly and this is great i like the fact that it doesn't leave my hair crunchy like gel does so after oil you want to put something to just keep your curls tight keep them in place so that you don't have to manipulate your hair every day every other day i was finding that every day or every other day i had to dip my hair into the shower and kind of rewash and set my hair and i'm trying to avoid that i'm trying to um not ma manipulate my hair for at least three to four days in between washes um just to give my hair a chance to relax release and just to soak in all that moisture um so that is that um, when I do um, take a shower I do put in the three minute hydration by Aussie and this works wonders it helps me detangle my hair in a flash honey and that's what I look for I detangle my hair while under running water if you have curly hair or kinky hair or coily hair you know that when you detangle your hair especially when it's wet it's easy to break your hair I would advise going under the shower water you can look at my video I have a video on how to detangle your hair without breaking and you simply just run your hair under constant running water and then detangle detangle it with a wide tooth comb okay that's the best and the easiest way I found to detangle my hair so I wanted to share that with you guys now let's talk since my last hair care update um, I had cut my hair about this short um, 
and if you look I will see if I could put a side-by-side -side comparison of my hair when I cut it before when I did a big chop before and the cut that I did now my hair is a lot more fuller um, it's not stringy at the bottom you cannot see through my hair it's very opaque and thick um, the last time I cut my hair I needed to cut more I literally would have just had this much hair that's how bad the damage was to my hair I simply could not do that I did not want to have such short hair because I have a big head as you can see I have a big face even with this haircut I find that it looks a little weird uh, but when it poofs out it kind of just it goes together you know the poofy hair with the big face it kind of it levels out um, so yeah so the last time I cut it it still was brittle so I had to wait for it to grow out at least six inches so that I could chop off the excess and that's exactly what I did and now my hair is finally rejuvenated and back to its natural state where it's very very extremely thick I will do if you want I will do a turnaround so you can see the back my hair is very thick you cannot see through my hair it is so thick and that is the hair that I remember girls so I am so happy and excited honey to be giving like oh, that girl and giving scandals there's nothing like healthy hair Miss thing there's nothing like healthy hair I can deal with this length especially summer around the corner you know it's gonna be hot it's very that Miss thing but I'm going to stay away from dyes my I have a dye actually growing out of my hair I'm just gonna leave it Miss thing fuck it we're gonna have highlighted ends Miss thing who cares it's not that visible not that noticeable it is what it is and it does look pretty I'm gonna let that grow out there will be no more chemicals in my hair no more heat in my hair Miss thing I am never ever putting any of that shit in my hair again ever like it's not happening if I ever straighten my hair in the future it's gonna be when it gets extremely long and I will stay clear of the flat iron this thing I'm gonna hydrate my hair and then I will be doing roller set and I will put go under the dryer with the roller set Miss thing come out the dryer and just leave it in roller set Miss thing I am not blowing out or flat ironing my hair my hair does not like it it can't stand it and I just have to be one with it you know what I'm saying that's it yeah my hair's curly it's not meant to be shape that's it it's just it's, it's a fact so we're gonna leave it like that and um yes miss thing i am living for this look and my hair the curl definition is sickening thanks to that curl boosting jelly um i was very skeptical about putting gel in my hair i did not want the gel in my hair but i'm happy i found the curl boosting jelly i think i'm going to stick with that and see how my hair dries if it dries nicely and i can get at least two three days um with my hair then i will continue to use it um most definitely um, I know coconut oil is great, especially for the winter months, and I'm just talking a shit song. But girls, I'm trying to give you the information. <laughs> I'm trying to come through, Miss Thing. <laughs> so I just feel like I'm fucking babbling on for days. Miss Thing, I'm like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but I'm just trying to be informative for my curly girls because, and, and my kinky and curly girls. I know how hard it is, girl, to keep that hair hydrated. I'm telling you, it's like the air just sucks you dry constantly. I can't. So, yeah, and for you guys who haven't saw, girl, I did not do my eyebrows today, Miss Thing. This was that dye that I put in my eyebrows, Miss Thing. I am living. I don't have to do my eyebrows when I get up. Um, I do, if I'm doing makeup, all I do is put concealer underneath to make them very crisp. And that's it, Miss Thing. They look flawless and natural, and I am living for my eyebrows. Girl, you see that? I woke up like this, bitch. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I woke up like this. <laughs> so yeah, we're falling off track here. Anyway, going back, Miss Thing. I am not gonna be able to wear eye makeup for a while. Girl, I don't know what happened. I had did um, a glitter look and the glitter went in my eye, irritated my eyes. Then, what else happened? Then I took a shower, Miss Thing. I forgot to take off the mascara prior to going in the shower. So you know, if anybody has ever gotten mascara in their eye, you know that shit burns like hell. So it burns my eye missing and my eyes are just very sensitive right now. They're burnt, they hurt. Um, I've been putting visine, so I'm gonna just continue to do so, put visine and just let them relax. Missing, I'm not putting any eye makeup, no eye makeup for a while, guys. So if I do do any palette reviews, I'm sorry, it's just gonna be swatches and what I think of the product. I could um, blend the colors on my hand and kind of show you what they're giving, how's the blendability, but I, I unfortunately, I can't do any eye looks for a while. I would say maybe two weeks, I'm gonna give it a rest. 
uh, missing because I can't be having my eyes hurting missing. That's not giving scandals. That's not giving a look. So yeah, girl. So what I do also is I let my hair dry. I will insert a picture here that I have posted on Instagram so you can see how much volume I get from my hair just when it dries naturally. Like I don't have to tease it or nothing. My hair is just naturally fluffy and puffy missing. And the cops are coming missing because my hair is giving scandals, darling. <laughs> I can't with you guys. I get out here with you guys and I should start bugging out. I feel like y'all all in the room with me, Missy, and we all chilling and going and giving real kiki, you know? So anyways, moving along. So yeah, guys, my hair is so much fuller. I'm going to show you before and after pictures. And that's basically what I've been doing with my hair. Just um, steaming, hydrating, guys, and you know... I mean, I cannot give you any real tips on how to recover from damage besides cutting your hair, guys. Unfortunately, that's the best alternative. And I know it's hard for you girls who've been growing out your hair for so long. Like me, I was growing out my hair for three years. I reached waist length hair. I will insert a photo here so you can see how long my hair was. Um, but guys, yeah, I had waist length hair and I was living this thing. And I thought, oh, I'm going to straighten it so that they could really see the length. Because when it's curly, you can't really see... The length of your hair you know it sh it takes away if not two-thirds um half of the length of your hair so you know us curly girls sometimes want to blow it out so we want to show that length girl you know and it, it look it, it cost me all my fucking hair so you know don't do that <laughs> don't do that i would advise if you do have kinky or coily um or curly hair not to not to use heat don't use heat girl don't use heat and you will see how fast your hair will grow and how fast it will transform like that's the best advice i can give you don't use harmful products dyes heat none of that like our hair wasn't meant to have any of that shit all that shit is man-made so your hair is like no bitch get out of my face i don't want it like <laughs> that's it that's all i can say about that hey guys so i am showing you my day-to-day -day or every other day hair routine since I have cut my hair, okay, so what I do is I put my whole head, I turn on the shower, I put my whole head in the shower, and I saturate my hair completely in water. Then I take two pumps of the Aussie Mega Moist Conditioner. I have the big one. I take two pumps, I put it in my hair, I scrunch it in my hair, and then I rinse it out. And I don't rinse it fully out, I rinse the majority out, and I leave some excess inside of my hair. So right now my hair is dripping, that's why I have this towel on. So next guys let's see so then I like to part so then I like to part my hair guys I usually use a wide tooth comb to detangle my hair but for some reason guys I have no like I have no idea where it's at and it's pissing me off so I'm gonna have to buy a new wide tooth comb when you have curly hair girl a wide tooth comb is essential it's just a comb it's just a big comb that's all it is with big instead of it having these small sparks it has the big you know the big pointy things going up and that just makes it easier um to detangle your hair with less damage so now we're going to part our hair in four equal parts i'm gonna leave this one out because that's the one i will be going to first you can part it in four equal parts me i'm lazy so i just twist the back up here and i clip it and then i take the front and I clip it up. So I basically just pulled this back over there and clipped it however the state is. Ain't nobody got time to be doing four equal parts. I mean, if you have the time, by all means do it. And then I'm using a Demon brush. Guys, if you have curly hair and you don't have this brush, you need to get it. Seriously. This is like the best brush for curly hair. And now I'm just doing the ends first because we don't want to break our hair. Okay, and when you start combing from the top down, you're ripping out the bottom of your hair, okay? So you wanna make sure the bottom is nice and detangled first. And being that I left excess conditioner in my hair, it's fairly easy to comb it out. And guys, my hair is not easily to manage by no means, especially now that it's very thick and healthy. It's even harder to manage, okay? So as you can see, all my hairs are curling up and we have those two kind of straight edges there, which I'm going to cut. 
okay? Because those are damaged ends. When your hair is curly and you only have little edges like that, looking all crazy, it's because they're damaged edges, okay? All your hair should curl. Your whole head should curl equally. So now I have some dry spot over here, so I'm just gonna wet that so that it's nice and saturated. So that the curls, when they dry, they form nice. Okay, there we go. Nice and saturated. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my extra virgin coconut oil. And guys, my skin hates oil so much, so I try to use as little bit as this of this as possible, so I just have some there. And I'm gonna put this just to lock in that moisture, right? Wanna lock in that moisture. And for some reason when my hair dries, it dries hard. So that's why, before I used to just put the coconut oil fully when my whole head was done with the curls and just run it all over my head. But now I'm doing it section by section, today for the first time, because I wanna see if that makes my curls softer. Because my hair is like drying up, but it's drying up hard. Like it's hard, and that could be because I'm not using any um, anything else in my hair. But that's the way I want it. I want to use as minimal products as possible because my hair is healthy, and I want to be very careful how I tame my hair. I don't want to put any harmful products um, in my hair. Nothing that's going to harm my gorgeous curls oh I can't tell you how nice my hair feels right now like how bouncy and alive my hair feels I haven't felt my hair this healthy in a very long time guys for those of you who kept up with my hair journey you know that um, I went through excessive heat damage I will link that video in here somewhere so you guys can see that but yeah guys, I had like really bad case of heat damage. So now we're just doing the ends again, repeating the same process. And I'm just going to repeat this process all over my hair and I will be back when I'm done. Hey guys, so next, this is my steamer. I have moisturized my hair and sealed it with coconut oil as I showed you. Um, so now we're gonna go under the steamer guys and Girl, I love me some steamer. This really moisturizes the hair as you can see the steam coming up there It is a bomb.com and it's also a facial steamer. I this is like the best investment I ever made um, I don't use it as much as I'd like I'd like to go under there once a week So I am going to make the effort of doing so Here I am. You're gonna need a towel, guys, because it does tend to drip, like down your neck and stuff. And don't look at my chichos, yo. <laughs> hey guys, I'm steaming. Hello. <laughs> hey guys, so I am back from the steamer, girl. So now we're going to take this hair down, voila, voila, and now it's just gonna be nice and moisturized. The steamer is great for curls. If you'd like me to do a review on the steamer, let me know, guys. It was a great investment for me. I love it. Absolutely. 100%. It also has a face steamer as well as a hair steamer. And it is very good for my natural girls and my girls with, um, my girls with curls. Awesome. Very, very awesome. Okay, so let's take this hair out. Let's see what we got here. So we do have coconut oil with a little bit of conditioner and some water. That's all we're working with right now. So yeah. So this is what we have, ladies. Now what I am aiming for is getting my hair to be a little more softer when it dries. Right now when it dries, it's kind of hard. Which, you know, it doesn't mean that, it doesn't mean like, it's not bad that it, you know, dries but right now it does that it does do that so, so now I'm just gonna comb through this 
and as I'm combing, you will see how the denim brush does the edge of the curls really nicely. So I do, however, like that. This is very cute, very cute. Oh my God, guys. I am in love with my hair, guys. I put some Instagram pictures up, so I hope you guys enjoy those. But my hair does feel, you know, just a little hard. And I'm guessing that's from the protein treatment because the protein treatment does make your hair stronger. So, yeah. It does make your hair a little stronger. I am cleaning all this hair off my hand, girl. Guys, doesn't it kind of look like the Mad Hatter, right? <laughs> I so look like the Mad Hatter. It's like, we're all mad here. But guys, look at how healthy my hair looks. Like seriously, let's take this off. Yes, so I'm going to change my shirt and I will be right back. So guys, I have changed my shirt and I am back. I had another shirt on so that the coconut oil and whatever was dripping from the steamer would not mess up my clothes, okay? So now we have this hair. Now I am thinking to put on top because our hair is sealed right now with the oil. I want to put the curl boosting jelly. So I'm gonna part my hair in four sections. And well, you know my four sections, girl. I take one section. So I think from now on, after I come out the steamer, I will be repeating this routine. And it's just because this stuff guys it's like magic I was using it before and I don't want to use gel anymore so I'm hoping I can compensate with this because it's just more healthy for the hair okay so this is what it looks like this is the texture it's like a jelly texture but except it doesn't leave your hair hard like gel does like it leaves your hair and it has glycerin in it and we all know that glycerin attracts moisture to the hair especially now for these winter months ahead and look at the difference in my hair after applying that. You see that? It already looks hydrated. Like really nice. So I'm gonna put a little more down here cause it's hard for me to get in here. And we're just gonna comb with that Denman brush and see the difference. And look at that. That looks, look at how it enhances those curls. You see that? Look how it just enhanced those curls, guys. I love this stuff, okay? This is Curls Unleashed. Unleashed? What? <laughs> what you say? This is Curls Unleashed Curl Boosting Jelly, and this is for my curly girls, okay? This is great stuff. I live for this stuff. I didn't think I was going to use it now that my hair was healthy because I was a little skeptical, but I think I am. I think I'm going to invest in using it. Yes, yes, hunty, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Okay, so I am going to repeat this process on the rest of my head, ladies, and I will be back. Ooh, I will be back when I am done. Okie dokie. Bye. So, yeah, guys, stay tuned for my slide show, Miss Thing. <laughs> but, yeah, guys, stay, stay tuned for my slide show. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. I love you guys. Mwah. Bye, guys. you didn't see my video all the way to the end and forget to subscribe <laughs> hi what are you still doing here <laughs> go subscribe <laughs>